Buddy, this is full on role play. You hear me? As realistic as possible. Okay? It's snowing. Sweet. Okay, coffee, toast, we're ready to go. So, what we have planned today, well first, I gotta check the news, as I always do, but then, what we got planned today, is there is actually a retirement auction. If you guys know Jake, uh, he's a local farmer, some of you guys may, he's been on some blogs, you guys may have noticed him, uh, but he's actually having a retirement sale. He kind of ran into some financial issues, uh, and unfortunately, he's, he's he doesn't have to, but he's at the point where it's just, it's a smart move to let the farm kind of go under and start selling off some stuff, And but, I'm going to hop on the Apex Game PC and uh, just check the news. March corn on the board isn't doing too bad. Not too hot from... She's at 387. She took a huge decline. Mexico said they weren't going to buy as much corn the other day. Makes sense. Man, if we can get about $4 a bushel, that'll put me in just kind of a happy territory. Let's check on beans. <sighs> beans are down once again. Four-day losing streak for beans. Trump needs to get his crap together. My gosh. Stick it to China. Oh my god. So I was thinking, better safe than sorry, about maybe putting a hedge on for November. Just taking a short position in November. We'll see what's gonna go happen there. Oh, let's see what else has happened in the news. Yeah, my son plays this game. My gosh. Farming Simulator 2020 annual release scrubbed due to next gen consoles. Huh, these guys need to get a life, I swear. My God, Farm Sim. Why would you, why would you play Farm Sim when you can just do the real thing? I don't understand it. How are there fans in a farming game? All you're doing is farming. Why don't you just do it in real life? Fans. What fans? This year in particular was being anticipated for. Well, the sun's going to be disappointed on that one. It's a chilly one on outside. Better put it on the coat. So I'm going to run out and uh, grab the mail at the driveway. We'll see what we got. It was plumped full. And the wife couldn't carry everything in. So I'm curious to see what we all have in the mail. Okay, I got the mail. Some reason. There is a lot of envelopes from the government. I'll read them once I get inside the house. I wonder what this could be. Oh, you know, I know what this is. This is the government subsidy checks. Yeah, Trump baby. Free. Man, that was nice. $70,000 government subsidies. My gosh, sweet. Now, just so you guys know, there's some things to learn in that so Jake actually, local farmer, he's retiring and you know, some of the subsidies were issued to kind of help some of these family farms who are struggling a little bit. And he just, he, he inherited the farm with just way too much debt pretty much. And you know, it sucks. It really sucks to see, uh, but he's gonna go out kind of on a good note, I guess. Some people really, you know, hold on to their last second. Jake's kind of going out a little early, going on a good note, you know. Uh, and so he's gonna be involved in agriculture, just not true farming. I'm gonna start up the truck though. Let her run, warm up, and then we're gonna head over to Jake's. I'll probably bring, uh, I'll probably bring the, bring the gooseneck trailer. Yeah, I know he has sim, I know he has semis. He has a classic semi. He has a, uh, he has an old Kenworth, the flat face Kenworth, just a flat front face to her, and uh, it's almost like it got a stamp press right, right to the face of the semi, and that's what I was kind of looking at. He has some old tractors too that I might purchase, but we'll see. Backing up to the trailer. Big ticks. Big forward's coming for you. Yeah. Looks like I got about a. Uh, what is it? I can't see there. Got about six inches to go. Yeah, six inches. Shoot. Ah, shoot. I don't even know if we have grease. I gotta grease my ball. Oh my god. Grease, 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 grease. There we go. There we go. My ball's greased. Oh my gosh, it's pretty snowy out. <laughs> now I know Jake's actually, Jake, I think he had an F350 or F450 just like this truck. And if if it's an F450, I'm, man, I really want to buy that truck. You know, we have we have $123,000 to spend, guys. And that's, I, I don't want to spend more than I have. I don't want to take any loans out for this stuff because I, I really don't need this stuff. This is almost like... My wife gets to go to the mall, and this is what I get to do, you know? Man, there's about, uh, there's about two, three inches of snow on the ground. They haven't even plowed this road yet. Good thing I got the FX4 package. My gosh, dude. Is he still out harvesting? Should have told me something. I would have helped him. My gosh, I feel so bad knowing he was out harvesting. I didn't even help him. There's no way. Or is that Buck? No, I don't think Jake drives a pickup truck like that. I think that's Buck's truck. 
I think Buck's out harvesting. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this is his farm. Huh. I'm gonna go knock on the door. Yep. Who are you? Who am I? Uh, I'm, uh, Grant. Yeah. Town over. J just told Jake. Jake's friend. Okay. Okay. He's around back. Okay. Sounds good. My gosh, dude, the snow is deep here. Holy crap. Let me get outside. Holy crap, dude. Okay. Well, let's keep chugging along. Man, we almost got buried there. So I think Jake said the back of the shop that she said. That was Jake's, uh, Jake's lady friend. I don't even know who she was. Yeah, I think he's over here. Holy crap, dude. Oh my gosh. It is slick. Holy crap. I almost put a scratch on my truck. It is slick. Okay. Here we go. We made it. Perfect. Hey. Jake. Hey. How you doing? How's it going? Doing all right. What about you? Good, good. Besides, I almost got mauled by your dog. Almost got stuck in your driveway. And then I almost... uh. I almost jackknifed uh, my truck in here. But yeah, it was good. <laughs> solid. Solid. Yeah, I haven't plowed anything and it's really slick. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. You're good. We got that FX4 package on that Ford. She uh, she doesn't get stuck. That's what they oh, say. Oh, I bet. I bet. That other Ford sitting out there doesn't get stuck either. It's pretty nice. So you're going to eventually have an auction on all this stuff, right? Yeah. So okay. we're holding an auction come uh, springtime. But I've been just calling around to my buddies and, and letting them know that that's going to happen so they can kind of get the pickings beforehand. They don't have to fight anybody. Yep. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks uh, for giving me a call the other day. I know my yeah, wife answered. Yeah. I wasn't at home, but it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, I already had Clutch came out here and bought something. Buck, actually Platte Valley, I should say, came out here and bought a bunch of stuff for their used inventory. Okay. Um, so the, the pickings are getting slim already before the auction, but I'll take you around, show you whatever you want to look at. Oh man, Buck, that little devil! I, I bet you, I bet you, he, he uh, I bet you, he bought a lot from you. Did he? He he bought a decent amount. Okay. He bought the most so far. Uh, uh, but you know, if it's something you'd be interested in, go up there to Platte Valley. I'm sure he'll he'll upcharge you for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say that little devil. He'll sell. He'll he'll buy a skid steer and then he'll sell it to to me for thirty percent more. He'll be like, oh, nope. it's a dealership. No friendly discounts, Grant. No friendly discounts. <laughs> That's exactly how it'll go. Yeah. So. I guess, so is everything for sale then? Everything you see in this vicinity, I consolidated it all to this building, this lot, and right over there at the grain bins. That's okay. all what's for sale. Aside from this truck right here, this is my truck. But Cummins. the Ford is. The Ford is for sale. Okay. I so, uh, got some uh, big techs and a PJ trailer over here. Big techs. Yeah. It's got the 10,000 pound axles, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Dang. It's got the, uh, the, the fancy rear end. Um, okay. Well, not the you know not the fully, you yep. know because there's there's a version where the middle, is uh, is here too, right? Yep. And are they? Oh. It looks like okay. It looks like they're manual flip over too. Yep. yep. Okay. But they work great. Um, haven't had an issue with it. Honestly, haven't used the big techs or PJ, terribly much. Uh, I've used the PJ for bales. Okay. Uh, and the big techs, I have hauled, a tractor on it. A few times, nothing crazy. And is the PJ PJ is a forty foot? It looks like. Yes. Okay. Yep. This is a forty foot 40 PJ. Foot. Um, all the bearings have been serviced. Everything's good. Tires have got some good tread on them. You can take a look. Yeah. Uh, look beefy. The lights all work. Uh, yeah. Really, no problem with this with this PJ. The the gear up here yep. for the uh, the landing legs works just fine. You know, got your high low. Just like always, so. Okay, what do you have the PJ price at? If I was this interested. This PJ, again pulling up the spreadsheet, they quote at 13, 13k. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to pass on that. But. Okay. I have seen the semis over here, and I mean, yeah. depends on the price. But, oh, that farm king looks nice too. I like an yep. auger. I kind of want to have an auger, even though I don't need an auger, because it'd be cool to say, <laughs> have an auger. You know, you never know when you need to build some ex, uh, some extra storage, and then you'll have an auger for it when you do. So, these trucks here, both for sale. We got a Peterbilt. Okay, uh, 389. Uh, 
Is it? Yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. Ever since you had this Kenworth, Jake, I'm going to be honest. I've loved this thing. How much? <laughs> What's the price? How many miles? Give me the rundown on her. Okay. So the Kenworth is sitting at 562,000 miles. Okay. That's not um, too bad for has, semi. It has been pretty well taken care of. Actually, recently uh, did a lot of work to the differential, uh, to the transmission, Um so the Kenworth is 18,000. The trail keen on it right now, which isn't necessarily, you know, if you were looking for a trailer, the one you had to go with. Yep. Um, that they quote at 60, but you buy it as a package. Let's make it 55 for the whole package. That's a deal. Okay. How? Okay. First of all, how many bushels uh, can the trail keen hold? Off the top of my head, 1400 okay man i'd have to look i'd have to look yep. uh, uh, at my grain receipts to see um it, i want to say it's like 14 15 it's a belly dump can you yeah can, yep. can you hold dirt and gravel with it yeah it's actually it's it's what it's intended for uh it does that really really well but you hold you okay you used to hold grain with it though okay corn beans yep. that's i mean okay I want this. I really want this. Um, I want the can worth it. You said sixty grand. Fifty-five for the package. Okay. Can I t can I test drive the can worth before I buy it? Absolutely. I got it. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, it's uh, I'll a little let you... cold. A little cold out, and I'll be honest with you, the can worth doesn't like colder weather, so it might take you a couple tries, but okay. it always starts. Okay. I'll jump in her. Is uh key in her? Yep. Okay. So before you go, you look at the shifter there. You'll you're gonna yep. see that's a thirteen. Okay, it's a thirteen speed. Thirteen speed. Polar. Okay. Yep. And then uh, clutch in, turn the key. Yes, sir. Okay. Come on, old girl. Hold on. Yeah, hand me. Okay, you see in the glove box, there's a there's a little bottle of ether. Yep. Yep. Hand that through the window there. Yep. Here we go. There All we right. go. Uh, thanks. All right. Give Get her gas. To... Yep. Give it. Beans are coming. Oh. There you go. There she goes. Sweet. Did you guys redo the interior on this? truck then it looks pretty clean in the cab at least yeah yeah it's uh been pretty well refurbished there i think there's some bits that we haven't touched yet so I'm like okay. the wiring behind the dash yep um with the radio is a little spotty sometimes on that but other than that yeah it's it's fully redone okay i'm gonna let her warm up for a bit then um so we're at you said fifty thousand, right 55 for the package, yeah. So it was 60 for the Trail King, 18 for this. I knock you down to 55, 55. overall okay. if you buy it as a package. Okay. You think she's probably warm by now? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I think she's good to go. Okay, I'll jump in her. I'm just going to try to take her out on the road. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. You might have a little... It's, it's really slick out here. Okay. Um, so you if get you have a little there? bit of trouble... Then I guess I can kind of help you out with the tractor somehow. We can maybe get a chain. I don't know. We'll okay, that I'll out. okay. I'll try to just keep her around in the yard, just because it's, I know how I know how much snow there is out there, and it's not going to get through it. I'll just keep her in the yard. That way, I can get kind of good sense from it. And honestly, I trust you. I trust you. If there's something really wrong, you you would have told me. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not trying to screw you over or anything. Okay, I'm just going to give her a little shot. All righty. There we go. That's gear one. Gear two. Three. Okay, okay, slow it down. Okay, so we're in second gear. What? This is, this is a nice truck. What are you guys thinking, vlog? I'm kind of liking her. Only thing is, I gotta figure out how to turn around here. I'll just swing wide. This looks like the mirror's almost gone on this, though. It's only thin. 
went around here. So I know we got three semis, but having one more, especially this Kenworth, guys, I just, I almost got to pull the trigger on her. I'll see what he's at for pricing, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking he can probably drop it a little bit. I don't want to screw him over or anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, he keep almost running him over. I'm just trying to turn around. I love it. I, it, I'll tell you what, Holland Grain, I used that thing most of the time, and the Peterbilt pretty much sat there. I mean, I used the Peterbilt a little bit, but overall, the Kenworth was my favorite. Okay, okay. What? Okay, you're at 55. What yeah. if we do 52? I'll take everything for 52. <laughs> 52. This guy is haggling the man that's yeah. going bankrupt. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Calm down. I don't say it like that. It's not it's not that bad. Okay. 50, 53 and a half. 53 and a half. 53 and a half. I can do that. You got okay. yourself a deal. Okay. Thank you, Jake. Shaking. Yep. It. Yep. No problem. Okay. Um, now you have, do you have other equipment then? I'm going to just leave this yeah, in my running because I plan to take that thing home after I'm done. We've got everything in that shop over there yet to look at. Okay. I'm, uh, let's go over there. Let's head over there. Yes. For one, it's warmer in there, which will be nice. Yeah. You're wearing, uh, sleeves rolled up. My gosh, yeah. dude. Yeah, well, you know, anything above 20 in, in this part of the world is actually t-shirt weather, so. Holy crap, dude. Are you even human? <laughs> Man, it's warm in here. Yeah, way better in here than out there. Holy crap. Oh, Red yeah. Red and green. And Red, yellow. Green. My gosh. All of it. And blue? Yep. What Got all kinds heck? of colors. Got the whole in Skittle here. pack in here. <laughs> yeah, it's the Skittle farm. That's what we farm out here. My gosh. Okay, so. Start with the New Holland. What is. Ah, oh, dude. New Holland CR 1090. She's on tracks. Yep. I love the folding corn head. My gosh, dude. Yep. This thing has a massive grain hopper on it. I can't count. Oh, what's the bushel count? Probably. Oh, my. Man, I, I got 400, 500 bushel? Uh, I think we're closer to probably 1,200 on this thing. Jeez. It's It's massive. This is, I think, the biggest New Holland that they had when my uncle bought it. My gosh. Uh, obviously, got the tracks. What uh, year is it? Is it? 2013, 2014? This one, I believe it's a 15. 15, so it's going to have def in it. Yeah, yeah, uh, it does have crap. def. Okay. Uh, doesn't really have that many hours on it. I think it's got 120, 120 which is hours. nothing. Okay. Yeah, that's like practically nothing. Okay, uh, what, what? what's the price on it? So for the combine specifically, let me bring up uh, my email once again here. The combine is three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Holy crap! Yeah. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, she's a little. Uh, she was expensive when my uncle bought it. I don't know what he was thinking. But what yep. I really yep. like in is this F. Oh, I thought you had an F four fifty. And uh, nope, she's a three fifty. Oh shoot. Three fifty. Yep. 350 flatbed dude. Bradford, I believe, is this bed. I love these trucks. I love these trucks. It's a good one. It's a Lariat. Uh, okay. So it's not, you know, it's not yep. top of the line. How many? Anything, okay. How many miles good, are on it? Uh, thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand. She's a twenty yep. twenty. Yep. You put a lot of miles on there. Okay. Yeah. What? What price are you are you asking for it? The bank suggested sixty-two, sixty-two thousand. Holy crap. You probably paid I don't I it's none of my business. Uh and my uncle bought it. I don't know I don't know what he paid for it. I don't wanna know. Okay. <laughs> Sixty two thousand. Okay. I I can't. I I just don't need that truck. No. Okay. Well what's the number you're comfortable with? Sixty grand. We take sixty grand. Sixty grand for it, Jake. Right now, it's done deal. Sixty grand. I'll shake on it. Oh! Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't even know why I need another F three fifty. My gosh, I love these trucks though. So. Okay. Holy crap, dude, the wife is gonna be mad. The wife is gonna be driving a dually. 
She is going to be angry. <laughs> We're selling the Suburban. We're selling hey, the she's, Suburban. She's going to get that mentality of get off the road. I'm bigger than you. Get out of my way, you know? Yeah. Okay. It's the wife's new car. All right. 60, 60. grand. Okay. Uh, so I owe you 50. So I owe you 110. My gosh. What's this 8,400? <laughs> 10 grand? That's all I have left in my budget, man. You want a Kubota UTV? You say Kubota UTV? I did. I remember seeing it. Where's that? There she is. Right there. Okay. No. Oh, I shouldn't have told you I had 10 grand left. Um, <laughs> it's diesel. It has John Deere rims on it. My gosh, dude. You know what? I bet Buck... Did Buck put those rims on? He talked you into I, put, buying a Kubota and putting John Deere rims on, didn't he? I bought it from Buck, so I... My maybe he put gosh, them on. Maybe dude. he snuck them on. I don't know, man. Holy crap. That's a buck move right there. That is a buck is. move. Yeah, but it's got the full cab on it and everything. Diesel? She's a diesel, too? Would, that, you, take, that, would you take eight? You know what? You're 500 shy of what I was thinking. I'll, I'll shake on eight. Okay. I'll shake on eight. That's fine we'll do with it. me. That's a good price. Um. Or Actually, you know what? Oh, I did bring my 40-foot uh, my PJ, too, though. Actually, yeah. Or you know what? I'll be fine. I'll be able to hold that at home on the forty foot. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. All right. Get the Kubota on there, and then we'll get the. I'll pull the F three fifty on after you. Oh my gosh, the truck got a little muddy through here. The snow's a little wet. Okay, keep coming. There you go. Come up there. To your right a little bit. There you go. Keep coming straight. Now to your left. There we go. Keep coming up here. Perfect. And then straight up. And keep coming. Oh, that's good. That should be good. Okay, do you want me... You care if I load that 350? Go for it, man. Okay. Open up the door. <laughs> oh, sounds just like my pickup truck. So this is the Lariat interior, and I have the King Ranch interior. I have no idea what I need to do these for, especially two F-350s. I was really one F-450, but we'll figure it out. You're good. Keep her straight. There you go. You're clear. I can't see crap, Jake. It's all you. Yeah, I'm watching you. You're good. You're not going to bottom out. Perfect. All right, you got four feet, two feet, one, ho. Oh. Back her up a little bit. There you go. She drives like a dream. The last thing for you now is uh, just your, your semi and, and trailer you bought, too. Okay, so I'm thinking once we do paperwork, is it okay if I leave this here and then take my semi yep. back and then come yep, back and get this? Okay. In fact, Everyone that's bought, you're the first one to actually load stuff out. Everyone else is, it's still here and okay. they haven't picked it up yet. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get paperwork done and then, uh, I'll take the semi. All right. That's let's do oh, it. shoot. That semi is still running too. I got to get that. I left it the running. It's going to be nice and warm. Yeah. It should be toasty in there. All right. Let me pull this that out a, of the drawer. Is that, is that, that? Apple or when? Um, Dell. Yeah. I think that's an HP. Okay. Does it game okay. good on there? Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's all right. I, I play a little bit of farming sim, but honestly, oh, I, I don't I get the gonna, frames that I want. I was going to get to that. My son, Jimmy plays it. Uh, oh yeah. I was wondering how, yeah, I was wondering how it plays. Cause I was thinking I got an apex game PC and that thing's just Donna dynamite on uh farm sim, man. It's just overkill almost, you know? Yeah. I wish Dang. I don't have a desktop, but I'm sure that it does a way better than this laptop. Honestly. You know, uh, you hear the news about Farm Sim, right? What what news? Yeah, my uh, I, I dropped the bomb on uh, Jimmy this morning. I had to tell him that there was going to be no uh, FS20 or FS21. Yeah. There's not? Nope. There's going to be Seriously? none. Yeah, they're waiting for uh, console to come out, I heard. Oh, yeah. console. Okay. All right. Well, that's that sucks, but, you know, maybe, hey, maybe it'll be really good. Yeah. I don't know. Obviously, real life farming is the way to go, but that's what I tell him. I tell him every day. I'm like, dude, we have probably four or five million dollars worth of assets out here, real life farming, <laughs> and you're sitting inside on a PC just playing farming similar. My gosh. I guess maybe he. Well, you know what it is, air conditioning. That's yep. what it is. Yep. And you know what's the craziest thing, Jake? 
I have air conditioning in my 8RT. I have air conditioning there. <laughs> and you know what that little crap tried to do the other day? He tried to bring his laptop in there and play farm sim while he was running the tillage <laughs> in the tractor, playing farm simmer while he's farming. Oh, uh, I've never thought of that. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna have to try that. Yeah. Set oh it up gosh. on the GPS and then just play some farm sim while you're farming. <laughs> yeah, and then he had GP he had GPS going on his tractor in farm tillage, so he got on mobile. I'm like, what the <laughs> heck? Three farm sims run at once? Hey, it's a grind. You gotta take care of your farm. Yeah. If you don't stay on top of it. All right. I got all the papers sorted here. So this first set of papers, you're going to sign in three places right there, there, and there. That is for the sale of the Kenworth. Um, then the second page on that is the Trail King. Okay. Okay. All signed. Right. There we go. Awesome. Sweet. And then this next set here, this is going to be for the Ford. So you're going to sign right here, here, and here. Okay. All right. She's and once signed. TV, that Kubota. And if you sign right there, there, and there once again. There we. All right. Thank you. Thank you, I guess. Oh, when's yeah. your, when's your uh, auction, by the way? I'll probably stop First by. Day First day of spring. Okay. First day of spring. I'll see you. Have a good one. Highway 34. Perfect. We're on route. Heading back to the farm. So far, I like this thing. I really do. Uh, 13 speed, seem to be getting used to it, seems good. Oh, shit. I just flew by a cop. I just flew by a cop, man. Oh, shit. God, dang it. He's on me. My gosh. Okay. We'll pull off to the side of the road here. Yep, he's on me. I bet she's going to get me for not having a mirror. I bet that's what it is. Well, well, well. If it ain't Smokey and the Bandit. What do we have here? Fuck, is that you? Are you serious? You pulled me over? Oh, I don't know who this buck guy is, but all I know is that you were hauling fairly quickly. You got a reason for that, Sonny? Buck, don't play any BS. I know you're a volunteer sheriff. Buck, my gosh, you pulled me over. Yeah. If you're going to drive like a bad ass, then I'm going to pull you over faster you're... than snot. It said I was going 40 mile an hour on here. I don't know what you yeah, clocked, man. get that speedometer checked, boy -o, cause uh... You were clocking 85. Dude. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Tell you what, Buck. Uh, you let me go. Next tractor I buy. Coming right at Platte Valley. Right? Coming right to Platte Valley, man. Brand new deer. Does this thing even have brakes? Because yeah. I know where this truck came from. Yeah. I bought it from Jake. Oh, did you now? Yeah. I thought I saw one down in uh, eastern Kansas the other day, but apparently you got it from him. Yeah. No, I bought this from Jake. Yeah. <sighs> Well, I also can see that your driver's side mirror is completely shattered. Um, appears to be, as well as your front headlights busted. Can you turn on those lights, see if they turn on for me, please? Okay, you're in the clear, it just look cracked. Let's, let's do some talking. What is it, what's it gonna take me? Let me go scotch-free. Three, four points off your license, that's what it's gonna take you. Ah, come on, Buck. Sure, hey, Buck. You wanna do, hey, Officer you, hey, Buck. you wanna do... Officer Buck. You want to do 40 over the speed limit in a residential, you know, residential town? That's not my problem. That's yours. Fix That's your true. speedometer. That's true. I so apologize. You got a fix it ticket on your. I'm gonna give you a fix it ticket of a hundred, fifty bucks for the uh, mirror. I'm gonna give you another fix it ticket of forty five for your speedometer. Buck. Apparently, hey, Officer Buck, Officer Buck, please, please. No, no, I am not. And I also ran the plates on that trailer. That trailer's not from here. Can you explain to me where that came from? Yeah. It, it, it came from Jake. It came from Jake, Officer Buck. Well, if you can call up Jake and get him out here to explain this story to me, I'll let you off the hook a little bit easier on that one. Dude. But I'd like to get at least a proof uh, that this trailer is not stolen. I, Buck, you know me. I would not steal... Officer Buck, yeah, you know me. I would yeah. not steal I would not steal a truck or trailer. 
I would not. Well, apparently you stole a bobcat off me back in Iowa with the auction when it came to uh, being 13 grand for a brand new one. Got me fired from there. Okay, but that was a uh, acknowledgement between two parties that agreed on that price, though. I did if not. If you can call here, if you can call Jake out here to prove to me that this trailer is is actually now legally owned by you, obviously the title is not going to be flopped over within 20 minutes if you just bought it from okay, him. Okay. Yep. Yep. But it looks I'm like you were on your way from. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my cell phone. It's not a gun. Just pulling out my cell phone. Okay. I'm going to go back in my truck and I'm going to get some papers going back here just so I can get you uh, some sick and tired of standing out here in 34 degrees. Okay. Hello? Jake, you'll never guess what happened. What? Is something wrong with the truck? I'm on the side of the road. I got pulled over by the lovely Buck. Buck, what? the volunteer sheriff, pulled me over. You got pulled over... What, has he tried to upcharge you yet? No, it, it, he started ticking me. I, was, I guess I was going 40 over. The speedometer's almost broken on this truck, which is my fault. But, uh, but he, he thinks I stole the truck. He thinks I stole the truck from you. And he won't let me go until I give you a call, and then we give proof that I didn't steal the truck from you. Oh, uh, because the title's not switched yet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my. Okay. What the... Can you just put me on the phone with him? Do I have to go there? What's what's the deal? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll hand the phone to him. Okay. Drag it back in your truck. Buck, I got the phone, man. I don't got time. I got the phone. Don't uh, shoot me. Don't shoot me. Advice. No get, taser. Get back in your truck Buck, right Buck. now. Buck, here's the phone. Get, get Talk. Catch the phone. Catch the back phone. Get back okay, okay, in okay, your okay. Truck. Okay, no. Put the taser away. Put the taser away. I'm not going to shoot you with the taser. I'm just telling you, get back in the truck. Okay, sorry. Now, what were you trying to come out to do? Here is the phone. Jake is on the phone. It's pretty obvious. You asked me to do a request. I'm accepting. Yeah, I requested his presence, his physical presence. Oh, he's on the phone. You know Jake's voice. Okay, just because you're a volunteer doesn't make you have, mean you have to take your job seriously. Dude, I'm going to be honest. You think you're just hot just crap because, because you volunteered to be a sheriff officer. A real one. No, you volunteered and you just think you're hot crap and you want to play by the rules. You know, Jake, fuck. And you think that just because you're in a big semi means you can run the road the way you want to. I don't think so, hot shot. Just because you're volunteer does not mean you're a real sheriff, fuck. Here's the phone. It's just Jake. You, you know York Jake's does voice. Not mean you're a real farmer. Okay. Now hand me the phone and I'll talk with him. Okay, okay. There you go. Is this Jake? Yeah, this is Jake. What's up? All right, so obviously I got uh, Grant out here, and yeah. he says that he bought, and it looks to be your Kenworth I saw the other day, but I'm making sure because the plates are coming back, sla uh, the plates and titles are coming back, not his. Did he buy it from you, or did he steal it? Okay, so he literally just came from my place. He came down here because my, you know, my, my farm's auctioning off a lot of stuff. He bought the Kenworth, he bought the Trail King, uh, the title still, it's going to be transferred. He literally, no more than half an hour ago, had bought that stuff, probably. Uh, I have a bill of sale he here. Uh, he doesn't have it yet because I was going to email it to him, but I haven't done that yet. But I have a physical bail, uh, a bill of sale here, if you need, for, for some reason. But yes, he did buy that truck and trailer. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Thank you. Yep, no problem. All right, Grant, here's your phone back. It's a little wet. I'll wipe it off here for you. Hang on just a second. Thank you, Officer Buck. Appreciate it. I, I apologize about calling you a volunteer. It's uh, I apologize. That was just overreaction, man. I really do. Apologize. Fine, and I also apologize for calling you a fake upstate New York farmer. But again, we also got to have, uh, have our days. But because of that, I'll let you off the hook for that part. But I'm still giving you the fix-it ticket for $95 total for the broken speedometer and the mirror. Okay. So I'd like you to get those fixed. You have 30 days. Without that, after you get pulled over again, it'll be a, it'll be a bigger fine. And then after that, we'll do, I, it'll go toward it'll go to the courts. Okay. I will just need you to sign here on this bottom line, and I yep. can let you be off on the rest of your day. There we go. There you go. Thank you, sir. Uh, drive safe for the rest of the day. Don't go anywhere else, and just make sure that uh, you just watch that speedometer as well as just kind of keep your eye on the traffic to see how fast they're going, just to kind of gauge your speed. I appreciate it. Thanks, Officer. Bye, sir. Yep, drive safe. You too. <laughs> that was crazy. What do you know? Buck. Buck. Out of nowhere. It's Officer Buck. 
my gosh, dude. Okay, Kenworth is back after a speedy ticket. There we go, we got that thing back. Now, I don't have a ride back to Jake's place yet, so I'll have to wait probably until later night until the wife get ho gets home, and then we can probably go pick her up her new truck. But anyways, guys, it's getting kind of late. I'm gonna make dinner, probably go to bed, and hey, I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks, guys.